Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about graphing lines. We're going to sketch the graph of each line. So, if I was given this graph, or this line, 10x minus 3y equals 15. Well, I like to take it from the standard form into slope intercept form. So, to do that, I'm going to subtract 10x on both sides to help me get y by itself. We have a negative 3y that's left there, and negative 10x first. Let's go plus 15. Then from there, I want to get, again, y by itself, so let's divide by negative 3. And make sure when you divide by negative 3, you do it to all parts. So negative 10 divided by negative 3 is a positive 10 thirds. We have x here, right? Negative, negative is positive. And then 15 divided by negative 3, that's a negative 5. Okay? So we have y equals 10 thirds x minus 5, all right? So negative 5 is our y-intercept, so we have our y-intercept right here at negative 5, okay? And then our slope is 10 thirds, so we're going to go up 10 units over 3, okay? So from here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 gets me to the origin. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 gets me here to, oh, to positive 5, right? No point there, got to move over, don't forget the run. We rose, we didn't run, okay? So we're here at 5, we have to go over 3, 1, 2, 3, okay, and there we have our point, okay, and that coordinate point right there is 3, 5, okay. So we connect these two dots to make our line here, so hopefully I can, uh, there we go, that'll make it nice and more less straight. So now we have our line that connects to both these points here, and we have our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 10x minus 3y equals 15. All right, we get y by itself in the slope-intercept form. So subtract 10x both sides, divided by negative 3. Left now with y equals 10 thirds x minus 5. Negative 5, we cross the y-axis, put a dot right there, and our slope is 10 thirds. We go up 10 to the right 3. Now we went up 10 over 3, got our point here, it's 3, 8, comma, 5. And uh, just because it's a, a large jump for the next point, it's still the same process, don't get scared. Alright, so now we have that, we connect the two dots to make our line, and now our graph is our final answer. 